my name is Shannon Brunick. I'm the head of school at Black River Public School. And this is a presentation that we put together to help people understand not only what our school is, but what a charter school is in general, and why we're here in Holland, Michigan. Hopefully you can visit us in person, but if not, this should help you on your journey to understanding what our offerings are. To let you know a little bit about the history of Black River Public School, the idea for this College Preparatory Charter School Academy actually came from a group of community leaders that were having a little fun on a sailboat one evening. The idea was that while there are many great educational offerings in the Holland area, there wasn't an answer for those parents who wanted a specific college preparatory education for their children. From that sailboat trip came the idea that a charter school could be made in the Holland area and a unique college preparatory academy was what they felt the Holland area needed. So what actually is Black River Public School? First and foremost, Black River is a public school that is also a charter school. What exactly is the difference between a charter school and are all charters the same? Well, let's dive into that a little bit deeper. There are basically three ways that charter schools are different than traditional public schools. And this is very impactful for how we do things. One is that we can't go to the taxpayers and ask for a millage to help build our buildings and pay for the things that we need to run as a school. A charter school has to take the per pupil dollars that it gets and use that and only that to pay for all the educational opportunities that it would like to give to its students. For example, you will never be asked to vote on a millage for a charter school to build a new auditorium or a gymnasium. And this is what makes it so interesting for us to budget and make sure that we can make the educational offerings with a little bit less than the traditional public schools have to work with. Another difference is that you'll never see signs in people's yards saying vote for so-and-so to be on a charter school board. Charter school boards are appointed by the entity that is chartering them. For example, Black River is chartered by Grand Valley State University. When we have a need for a new board member, there is an interview process and the school makes a recommendation to Grand Valley State University. Grand Valley then makes the decision to allow that person to become a board member. The other difference between a charter school and a traditional public school is that we can determine when we are full. Now, some people think that this means charter schools can select their students. That's not what it means. What we can say at Black River is that we're only going to have 80 students per grade. Therefore, when we hit 80, we then put students on a wait list because we know that's how much space that we have in our classrooms and that's uh, what we can handle with the size of our campus. So those are the three major differences. Now are all charter schools the same? No. For example, Black River is a not-for-profit standalone charter school, which means we do not have a management company that is operating Black River from afar. There are a lot of charter schools around that have large corporate structures and many schools that are spread even across the country with a management company that oversees all of them. Black River is its own entity and runs itself from within its actual campus. There is no entity that oversees what we do except for our chartering authorizer, Grand Valley State University. Grand Valley has been very proud of Black River and they tend to let us do what we need to do because they know what a great job our teachers do with educating students here. What makes Black River unique? Since the beginning of Black River, there's been an emphasis on having small class sizes so that we can value the individuality of our students. It's so important for teachers to understand their students and to get to know them, and we believe that our teachers do a great job in doing that, which allows them to tailor how they teach to those kids that are in their class. Also, our mission statement has the tagline of preparing students for college and for life. There's actually a lot more to this mission statement. It's actually five paragraphs long. But that little catchphrase that we put on so many things is why we were created. We are trying to help kids be ready for their next step, which is college, and also give them the life skills and the experiences to be successful in everyday life. Black River has an elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. First, let's talk about our Montessori Elementary. What is Montessori? Well, Black River is very proud of the fact that Montessori fits in with the exact same things that we talked about what makes BR unique. We like our small class sizes and the individuality that our students can have at our school. The Montessori curriculum at Black River fosters self-motivation in our students. They are responsible for their learning in a way that is unique and in a way that helps them to grow. 
Every day, our kids get to make choices about how they will learn, and the teachers facilitate that. It's an amazing thing to watch how much planning goes into a classroom from a teacher who's truly allowing all of their students to discover and learn at their own pace. Learning at their own pace is something that confuses some people. Please understand that we do have standards and expectations for all of our students, but we also understand that they're children and that they have different times when they're able to do different things. We try to understand that and foster that in every Montessori classroom. Let's move on to middle school now. Beginning in sixth grade and through eighth grade, our students come to the main building, out of the elementary, and start working in our middle school, or what I like to call, high school prep program. Some of the interesting things about Black River is that many of the middle school teachers are also high school teachers. This helps establish those relationships and keep those going throughout the seven years that will be sixth through twelfth grade. It also means that our students who are in middle school have much of the same schedule as our high school students. For example, one of the unique things about Black River is its block schedule that starts even for our sixth graders. These are longer classes and students meet in four different academic classes in a normal year at extended time so that they can get not only content but also plenty of time to work with each other and work through the, the content that their teachers are providing for them. Also, very uniquely, Black River has invented its own curriculum and in the humanities that means students actually work through different places in the world together in history and in English so that there's a common vocabulary between the history and English classes talking about what the students are learning. In sixth grade, for example, students will learn a lot about Africa, how it relates to their literature they're reading and also the history of the world. Also in middle school, our connected math program helps students to understand the relevance of mathematics in their lives and they have to work out what's actually going on and understand why the math makes sense with the words they're reading on the page. This also goes with our goal of having students read across our entire curriculum. Moving on to high school, we're very proud of the programs that we can offer to our students. And our school has had tremendous success in helping students with getting ready for college and getting ready for life. In 2019, Black River was recognized as the number one open enrollment high school in the state of Michigan. Black River is not a magnet school, and Black River, like we said before, doesn't select its students. Any student in Michigan can apply to Black River, and of all those places that any kid could go in Michigan, Black River was ranked number one. This was based on our college readiness, our math and reading proficiency and performance. We're very proud also of how we work with our underserved students. Our college curriculum breadth was recognized. Our advanced placement program, which often boasts over 18 or 19 advanced placement offerings, an incredible feat for a small school with usually between 70 and 80 students in a graduating class. And also our dual enrollment program. Many students at Black River also take some classes at Hope College or other places if they're able. This is when they've accelerated through our own curriculum and they're ready to take some college classes and even get some college credit for before they leave high school. One of the things that Black River values is giving our students the ability to experience what they're learning. As people will say, a student could see a picture of a lemon and be able to identify it, but if they have a lemon in their hand and they get to smell it and taste it, they will never forget what that lemon is for the rest of their lives. This is true of what we offer in our project term classes as we have students all over the Holland area and even taking trips to experience different things. I was very excited when I was a teacher in the band program, I took my students to play in parks in London and in Paris, and also being an outdoorsman, I took my students to Canada to do walleye fishing and camping. And many offerings are like this, including trips to Yellowstone and other camping trips, as well as all kinds of different offerings that happen here on campus with different things like theater, music, and many other offerings for students. Also built into our school week is more flexibility with our flex and cap programs. Cap is first and foremost a way to prepare students for college and understanding what they're going to be facing getting ready for that. But flex is a program that offered us some flexibility so that students could sign up for interesting topics that they wanted to dive into on a given day during a week and also get some extra help from teachers when they needed it. It's truly an experiential and flexible learning style. One other thing people should know about Black River is that we're committed to being a part of this community. 
Students coming out of fifth grade, coming out of eighth grade, and coming out of twelfth grade have requirements for the time that they spend volunteering in our community. There are all kinds of opportunities for our kids to do good things for our community, and we encourage them to branch out and see how they can be helpful to those around them. Are there arts at Black River? Absolutely. Black River has a tremendously strong art program that starts with music and visual arts beginning already in kindergarten. This goes up through elementary school and once the students reach sixth grade, they have options of being in the band, the choir, or the orchestra. They also have options to be in any number of visual arts classes that are offered. We think that understanding the arts is a way to truly understand what it means to be human. At Black River, we're proud of our college preparation and along with that, our preparation for life, and that includes athletics. We want our students to be healthy and to participate in athletic activities that they can do for the rest of their lives. For this reason, we offer middle school and high school varsity sports. It includes offerings for boys and girls with soccer, basketball, volleyball, a number of track and cross country offerings. We also have partnerships with other local public schools. For example, we have a partnership with Holland Christian for tennis. We have a partnership with Saugatuck for girls softball. And we also have a downhill skiing team through Grand Haven Public Schools. We're proud of the partnerships and we're excited about those things. One other partnership that isn't athletics but is significant is our fine robotics team. Black River and Holland Public Schools partner for the Chaos Team World Champions just a few years ago. Here are some more impressive results from our high school students. Last year's senior ACT score, the average for our students at Black River was 27.5. That's an impressive feat. Even more impressive is our composite SAT scores. Our students averaged 1154 on the SAT, which is 169 points above the state average. Please note these are uh, pre-COVID numbers from 2019. More things for parents to consider when they think about a college preparatory school is how do their kids do when looking for scholarships for that very expensive college journey. Our classes of just over 70 graduating seniors routinely earn more than $6 million in college scholarships. One especially amazing year was in 2018 when our senior class earned over $9.05 million in scholarships for college. Other things you should know about Black River is that we are committed to helping our students that need a little bit extra help. We have 12% of our students enrolled with individualized education programs. That means they have special ed services here at Black River. We have 504 students that get assistance and also we have a Title I program that is second to none. Another interesting thing is that we are the third most diverse K-12 school in Ottawa County. We're very proud of that and we are excited about the diversity that we have here at our school. Speaking a little bit more about who can attend Black River, it's important to note that all students who are residents of Michigan can attend Black River. So often, as I said before, people think that Black River is selective in who may attend it. That's not true. It's open to all within the state's borders. How do you apply to Black River? Please visit our website posted here or speak with Kelly Hennigan today about enrollment and how to apply to Black River. Black River has an enrollment lottery for the occasions when there are more applicants than spaces to be in our school. This is often the case at Black River. How does this work? First off, it is fair and impartial. Any student who applies to Black River before the deadline is put into the enrollment lottery. This lottery takes place within that next week and parents are notified as soon as possible if their child got into Black River. How the lottery works is that it is a random drawing. It is actually as simple as a deck of cards with students' names on them. It is shuffled and we draw at random the students that get the spots that are there. We do this in order to make sure that it is transparent and everyone understands that everyone has the same opportunity to get into Black River if they got their enrollment materials in on time. Another detail about the lottery that's important to know is that the state of Michigan allows us to try to keep families whole. That doesn't mean that all siblings always get into Black River, but it does allow for that priority to happen so that families can have the same school for their children. This priority is also extended to students of full-time staff members.
Thank you for considering Black River as the educational option for your child. The simple fact that you are checking into these options means that you're working hard to find out what's best for your student, which is the same thing we promise to do if you decide to bring them to our school. We are BR.